All right, guys, so we are going down a 6% grade right now. Uh, I try, see, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Now I'm running super high RPMs with the Jake. Okay, now it's shifted. I put it in the man, this is why I wish I had a freaking manual, man. I don't understand these automatics, period. And here I am in the freaking mountains having all sorts of issues. I put it in the manual. I climb the hill in seventh. I put it in the manual, right? Means the truck won't shift gears, right? It's going to keep it in seventh. I start going down the hill. There's no engine braking effect. I put the jake brake on. No engine braking effect. I'm continuously gaining speed. Why? Why? There was no braking effect whatsoever in seventh gear. Maybe because I wasn't going fast enough for seventh gear to do it. Maybe because I wanted to go slower, I probably should have dropped it into lower gears, I'm assuming. Um, but it was pissing me off because I was like, okay, people keep telling me to go down in seven, you know, the same gear. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hit it in manual right now. Okay, now the Jake is working and we're staying in seventh gear. Alright, so maybe that's what I did wrong actually. I was getting frustrated because it wasn't slowing me down, it didn't kick in. Well now it is working since I already had the Jake on. There was a sign flashing saying ice in shaded areas on this road. So I'm just going super slow, guys. Well, now I'm going a little bit slower than what I want to go. So we're going to ease up a bubble on the Jake brake. Yeah, I was getting agitated, though. I was like, why is this not working? Then I just cut the manual off and just threw the Jake brake on. Because my trainer didn't really teach me how to use the manual on this. I don't really know. Um, I ran into another CFI driver and I said, can you put these in manual? He's like, yeah, there's a little button over here on the right side of the uh you know your gear selection um push that button when you push it the m comes up on your dash that lets you stay in a certain gear so that's what i did but anyways yeah we're cruising down the mountain now in 35 pretty comfortably with two bubbles on the jake brake i'm gonna ease up now because i'm getting under 35 i don't know 35 is comfortable for me on here that's why i'm staying there I know the road looks fine, but like I said, I saw the ice and shady areas thing, and I'm just like, well, let me just be safe. I'm sure some trucks are going to come any minute and just blow past me, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care, man. I'm being a pansy. All right, let's go back to two now because we're starting to gain up on 40. I always get nervous going around curves that I might something might happen but so far so good so far so good still in seventh got the jake brake going bring it down to one since we're under 35 now let's take it off so we're still losing speed we'll bring it back to one okay now i need to i need to uh upshift now how do i upshift again is it back or forward what the hell's that there we go, I upshifted. Okay. Yeah, because I, I need to go a bit faster. How the hell? Oh, it wasn't letting me downshift because I think my speed was too high. So my RPMs would have been too high. And it's like, no, we're not letting you downshift. Because I thought I was trying, now I know. Okay, back to me is upshift. I'm learning this crap. I should have learned this crap before I got on the mountains in the winter, is what I should have done. All right. Eighth gear, two bubbles. We're looking okay. But I think I got it now. I think I understand it. All right, let's let off the J, gain a little speed. Okay, that was a 6% grade. We made it down pretty solid. Pretty good. Let's not get too confident now, Dave. Take your time, bro. Take your time. We're going to make this. Man, it is pretty, though. When you're out. I've never been in the mountains when they were snowy like this. I really haven't. It's uh, super pretty, though. I've been in the mountains, just never during like, like after a snowstorm or just, you know, winter weather. Yeah, okay, we made it down 6% pretty good. We'll have to wait until we get to one of those 8% grades next. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there is one on this route. We're just gonna have to do the same thing, man. Take it real slow and easy. Like I said, the conditions aren't too bad, so we should be okay. See, that was my biggest worry, was just slowing myself down in the winter. And now I feel like, okay, that really helped. Keeping that, uh, that gear in seventh that I climbed the hill with 
and then staying around 35. That felt pretty good going down the hill for me. I mean, obviously, any other time I'm 65 blasting down the freaking mountain, passing people, because I'm comfortable doing it in the in the dry the dry ground. But I'm scared doing it when it's like this. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> Even if it's not really that icy or whatever, I'm still like, like earlier I went down one. It was a four percent, right, guys? I went down it, and like the moment I started, it was dry like this. And the moment I started going down it, it turned into like packed snow or whatever. And I'm like, oh god. And then I'm freaking out. I'm like, oh shit, because I was going down it like, you know, 45 or 50, and I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just I'm just learning as I go, man. I'm just learning as I go. I do enjoy the mountain driving uh, when it's dry, though. I really do. Like I'm I'm very comfortable in that now, which I know it's not a big deal. But you know, when you first start doing it, when you're training with your trainer, you're a little nervous. You're you're carrying you know 45,000 pounds you're using your jake brake and trying to slow yourself down you're gaining speed and you know you're learning my trainer showed me the first time he's like look i'm gonna show you we pulled over before we got into the mountains and my trainer said all right i'm gonna start off and i'm gonna show you what i do and he had the one that was a button down here and uh i actually like this one better this one's a little bit easier but he had the button and you basically you see we're about to go down the hill again it's pretty dry right here, at least it looks like it. So we're gonna hit the jakes. I'm gonna put it in two. Hold about 55 going down this. I don't wanna get too much speed. And this is how I would do it normally. So normally I'd be going down this at 65. No big deal. This ain't even a steep decline, but it is. I just didn't wanna go too fast. Just in case there's ice up there or something, I don't know. <laughs> I'm being safe, man, I'm being a rookie. So anyways, uh, my trainer pulled over, and he's like, now watch what I do. You know, I'm gaining a little bit of speed, I'm gonna bring it up a notch. A little more speed, bring it up a notch. Uh, I'm losing too much speed, bring it down a notch. He's like, and I always keep my fingers on here, and I'm always watching to make sure that if I, you know, my wheels break or something, that I can turn it off. And now I'm trying to teach myself during the winter, like, Okay, what, how do I keep it in the gear, plus use the jake brake, plus use a little foot brake, and, and try to keep where I'm not losing traction. And, you know, if people say, it'd be like, you know, you ask 100 drivers, get 100 different answers. And uh, look at that. And uh, that's kind of how I feel in the comments sometimes. I ask you guys, there's a whole bunch of different answers, and I'm like, who do I, who do I listen to, damn it? But I guess there's more than one way that you can safely navigate your truck, I guess. There's, I guess there's really no, like, 100% correct way. Oh, windy, windy, windy. We're heavy, though. Look at that, man. Phew. It's really pretty in the wintertime. All right, guys, so we are going up the mountain right now. We are currently in Idaho, and... There were some guys chaining up back down the way. Uh, you can see them chaining up on the side of the road, but the sign that said chain law or chains required was not blinking, so I guess they were just chaining up to make sure they had the traction to make it up the hill. But I was watching, there was a ton of trucks going up without chains, so I was like, well, let me just go ahead and see what I do. <laughs> I am loaded, so. Decided to go ahead and climb her. Man, I miss summer already, boys. <laughs> say a command. No, I don't want to say a command. How about get me back down south command? <laughs> say a command. Voice command. Say a command. Get me out of this winter mess. Find a place. Speak the name of a place. Miami, Florida. That's where I want to go. <laughs> Processing. Freaking GPS is going to look up Miami, Florida, I guess. I've never used the voice command, so I don't really know what it does. I mean, obviously. Did you say Bella Nails? No, I did not say Bella Nails. <laughs> 
Yeah, I want to go get my nails done on this winter mountain GPS. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's exactly what I needed. What would I do without you, GPS? What would I do without you? Let's go get our nails done at Bella Nails. Go ahead and route me there, GPS. Thank you. All right, guys, uh, we're about to go downhill now. So we climbed in seventh once again. We're gonna put her in seven. Manual seventh. just when these temp temps are like this. Well, the temp's down. It's pretty low up here in the mountains. My truck's saying 19. I don't think it's quite that cold outside. The truck sometimes is off, but it's definitely colder than what it was earlier. Is that another truck stuck? Yeah. shift a little bit guys go down 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 there we go all right we're gonna do this in six because this truck in front of me is going down really slow so right now is that what we're on like I don't know this is sketchy though
my Jake is not keeping me. I have to use foot brake. My Jake is not keeping me down. There's a rest area in two miles. Is this the, it, so you guys tell me in the comments, guys. Is this the type of crap where you need to just stop when it looks like this? Because, I mean, this is like a mix of snow and ice, isn't it? As far as I, I think. No, we also got rocks falling on our heads to worry about. Not only do we have snow and ice, but rocks could be falling down on our heads. Why did my truck just shift me in the seventh? I don't want to be that high of gear right now. driving uh, 25 hours, 25 hours, 25 miles an hour in this mess. I mean, this ain't even worth it. This is like just kind of wasting my time, basically. You know what I mean? Like, I wonder if it's better just to pull off. I still have, uh, my 14 hour clock is sitting at 10 hours and 43 minutes. It's just, I figure it's not going to be any better overnight. So, I mean, I could stop for a while before I really start running out of time. Because, like, going going this slow, there's a truck behind me going this slow, slower than me, actually. The truck in front of me is going about the same speed as me. But anyways, I don't really know what to do because going this slow, you're not really getting anywhere. I mean, you're burning, well, I'm burning 20, uh, I'm getting... What, I'm getting like 20, 25 miles in an hour. That's like nothing, you know what I mean? So, it's just burning through my clock, basically. Because I, I have like freaking 1,900 miles. This, this load was a 1,900 mile load, so it's a pretty long one. I feel like I'm just wasting right now. I don't know, if there's a rest area or something, Again, I might just pull off. I don't really think this is worth it, honestly. I mean, the cars are going pretty quick. And other trucks are going pretty quick, like these two. I'm going to follow behind these guys. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Try to get up out of here eventually. station one mile be prepared to stop so we do have a way station coming up yeah everybody's going faster now except for the truck in front of me so I might just join and go a little bit faster I feel like it's not terrible right now gotta wait for everybody to pass me first 
dang, he just slowed down to nothing. Like, he would be going... Let's take it easy, 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 easy. All right. Yeah, I don't want to go 15, because he... He'll be going pretty quick, but then he'll kind of slow it down to about 15. Well, it's closed, the way station, so that's that. Got the green light anyways. Wow, it looks a lot nicer already. I'm going 40 now. Oh, you can park there. I don't know, but the road just feels like it just got a lot better. <laughs> yeah, this looks and feels a lot better here. I'm actually going 50. And I feel okay going 50. I don't know. I ain't catching those other trucks, so they're obviously going faster than me. So I guess I will continue going around this speed. Yeah, they're all leaving me in the freaking dust. Yeah, the sun's out right here. Sun's out, gun's out. Dang, we made it through that part of the mountain, guys. <laughs> that was fun. Let's never do that again. Let's take a spin to a foreign place. These open highways are calling our name. And now it's time for us to escape. Escape to a world we don't know Escape into the great unknown Escape to a world we don't know Escape into the great unknown